Wiwi is a show that I have very normal feelings about. Pokemon is a franchise I have very normal feelings about. Okay, so the original plan for this was to make like um two designs, just like based off of Bingo and Wooly, and then I wanted to make an evolution for them based more on their uh, teen and adult designs that we see very briefly in a few episodes. Um, so yeah, so that was the plan. Um, I wanted to make their pre evos baby Pokemon for you know um presumably obvious reasons. So in the beginning here, you can see me pull a bunch of references for baby Pokemon and pre evolutions about a bunch of dog Pokemon's. Um. I'd say my biggest um, points of reference in the beginning were like definitely like Willy Pup and Rock Rup, especially Willy Pup for like, cause Willy Pup has like that like square face shape um, that Willy, um, especially Willy and Bingo have in the shows. So I went off of that mostly in the beginning. Uh, most of the first draft actually, I just spent working on Willy's proportions and like the shape of her body and stuff. Um, before I settled on this design, I'm pretty happy with, and I don't really change that much in the future. Um, I go back and forth a lot while designing if I wanted Boily and Bingo to be like, um, like actual baby Pokemon, like in like a Ryoloo or like a fucking like, I don't know, Pichu sense. Um, or if I just wanted them to be like a pre evolution, like just a normal one, like Willio or Rockruff. Um, I don't, I, I, I think I settled more for it the latter in the, like, while I was designing in the future, but like, it, it could go either way. I, I think the design I end up making is pretty um, in the middle there. Once I got the shapes down for Bluey, her evolution came pretty easily. Um, I, I think in general, like, f evolutions of Pokemon are like easier to design because they can be a little more complicated. I don't know. I don't draw- I don't design Pokemon a lot, but you know. Um, I gave her this like emo hair tuft because in the design we see for her grown-up version in camping. She has like this little little like hair tuft on her head and I think it was cute and it fit into the type that I decided for her evolution which I will talk about in a second here. Um, but on to Bingo. Um, unlike Willy, I, I got a little lazy and a little uh, <laughs> tired so I only did a single sketch for her before moving on to coloring so her face and body shape do look pretty off here and they stay pretty off for uh, the rest of the designs because her face shape became pretty hard for me to nail and even like in the final draft I I'm, I'm still not too happy with it, but I don't know. It's, it's fine. Uh, this is just your uh, This is just the lesson is to always do your due diligence with your drafts, okay? Um, anyways, like Bluey though, um, her evolution came pretty, pretty easily after that I just kind of changed up the proportions and sized her up and added a few more fur tufts and spots Mostly based off of her um, adult quote unquote design that we see in um, fuck, I think it's Daddy Drop Off, the, the one with the the what the, the yeah Daddy Drop yeah that one. <laughs> um, I decided pretty early on that I wanted Bingo and Willy to be fire and water respectively. Um, uh, so I had this and so I and also for their pre evolutions to just be normal types, so kind of like a once again like a Willy situation. I I don't know Willy is normal, but y you know normal fire, you get it. Um, so in my first draft, I kind of just threw things at, a, at the wall to signify their typing. Um, because I'm like pretty bad at like, signif I try to like figure out how Pokemon like, expresses what type a Mon is, like, just from their design. Like, it's like, cause like if you look at like Vaporeon, no Vaporeon is like really obviously water, right? Cause it has that little like fish, like fish gill thingy. But like a lot of like other Pokemon, like a uh, fucking uh, Seismitoad, I, yeah, I just found one of the Pokemon showed that it's on my mind, but like Seismitoad, like it's just blue and a frog and that makes a water type. Or like Gastrodon, it's just blue and a slug and that makes a water type. Like nothing about it is obviously water. Um, so that makes it harder for like things that are like, like in this current design, Bluey is like a dog, right? Dogs don't live in water. So it's like hard for me to figure out how to like make it so that it looks like a water type. I'm getting off track. You, you know what I mean? I was struggling here. So I tried to like, um, <clears throat> so for Bluey, I tried to like make like her have like this weird flowy like paw band thing on her paw. I don't fucking know. Um, I, I got rid of it. It looks terrible. I don't know why I did that, but it, yeah. Um, like in general, I think I was struggling a lot with the evolution. So like, I, like, I feel like, mm, I was struggling with the evolutions, like, looking too similar to their pre-evolutions, because, like, like, that's not, like, a bad thing, like, like, I like Lucario and, like, Luxray, and they basically just, they both do that, but, like, I, I, like, 
It didn't feel like a proper evolution to me if it was just a pre-evolution but bigger. Which is dumb because most Pokemon evolutions are just that, like Arcanine, Browlet, like... But I... Point is, I wanted to differentiate them, but I didn't know how. So I put a pin in that and moved on to Bingo. Um, for Bingo, um, her design was a lot easier. I kind of just gave her black spots and that kind of fixed all my problems with the signifying typing and evolution. I don't know, but I liked it. So I, I don't, I didn't change it. Uh, here's the first draft. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's, um, now for the second draft, I had some time to think about it. I went to sleep after the first draft and I woke up. And in the time in between, I decided that I wanted to make male and female versions for their evolved form. Um, I wanted the female version to, ba to be more similar to their um, to the designs I made earlier, and I wanted the male version to be more based on um, their parents and other like to change the coloration a bit. Um, in the second draft, the pre-evolutions just basically stay the same. I just kind of kept messing with Bingo's face, but. Um, for the evolutions, I messed around with the colors a lot more. Oh, uh, fuck, okay. We gotta mention this earlier, but I desaturated the colors a bit um, in my first draft from um, the canon colors um, from the show. Because I feel like they were like a little too saturated for like Pokemon standards. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. I just play these games and I think about things. But I don't know. Like, they felt too saturated, so I desaturated them a bit. Um, but not too much. It's like barely noticeable, but you know. Um, for the second draft though, I desaturated them, I was just a little bit more, I guess it's not, still not very noticeable, but for the evolutions, I ended up giving the female versions the brighter colors that Blue and Mingo have. Um, still a bit more desaturated, not like exactly those colors, but um, closer to those colors. Um, and then I gave the male version, um, I gave Bluey's evolutions male version, um, Bandit's color scheme, cause I, it, it just worked, I put it on and it worked, so you know, I'm not gonna argue with that. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not the right word. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, for Bingo's evolution though, I had to get a little bit more creative, um, because Chili and Bingo have pretty similar color schemes, and, um, also that Chili's female, you know. Um, I, I decided to, um, I could've just, like, darkened the colors like I did for Bluey, but I wanted to stick more to, like, a canon, like, do what I did for Bandit and use, like, a canon color scheme. So I, um, looked at, um, Chili's relatives, and I decided to give the male version, um, I don't fuck, what's his name, like, Mort? Um, the, to, the granddad's colors, the, the brownish, the Chili's dad's colors, yeah. I, yeah, there. Um, and I, I liked it, so I left it. Um, so, um, the problem I had earlier with the evolution, that whole tangent I went on, um, I ended up fixing that by adding, like, I realized that, like, um, especially in, what's the dog's name? I don't know Gen A Pokemon. The, the electric, is that Gen 9 or Gen 8? The electric dog Pokemon. <laughs> that one. In the evolution, um, I, they changed the color. They added a color to it. And then I was like, ooh, cool. That's, like, pretty cool to signify an evolution. So I tried to do that. Um, off screen, I tried to dip, um, I tried to make, um, Bluey. Um, I tried to get rid of her yellow parts and make it just a light blue, um, but I didn't like that. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel in line with the show. So instead, I um, I made the light blue bits yellow, and I like that a lot more. Um, I think it also works in with um, Bluey just being normal type, um, since, I don't know, I think yellow is like a normal color. I don't even know. Um, but I, I like that. This is nice. I like the second draft. Like, I, I don't think I like perfectly replicated Pokemon's design conventions or anything, but you... You know, I, I'm proud of these guys. Yeah. Um, and then from here on, here on out, um, any changes I made to the final design, um, were pretty minuscule. I, um, you can see in the second draft, I played around with, like, changing the male's eye shape, but I thought, I don't know, I thought that was weird. So I didn't do that. Oh, my voice just tracked. Um, I thought that was weird, so I didn't do that in the final draft. And, um, I messed around with the colors just a little bit more, but, um, other than that, uh, here's the final info sheets. I spent too long working on this part. Um, anyways, as you can see, I named the evolutions Chili and Heal This. <laughs> you get it? Cause, <laughs> cause Healer. Cause Boo we'll, we'll, we'll here, it's Chili, but uh, do, you, do, do you get it? Anyways, I gave them all a new ability, Familiar Bond, which I made up, and I imagine works pretty similar to um, Parental Bond, the one that Mega King the Sand King, King of Scan, King, what? King, King, King of Scan. King, Tingus Khan, Tingus Khan, 
Kenus Khan, Kenus Khan, that's how you say that one. I actually know that. Kenus Khan um, has. <laughs> But instead of always hitting twice like that one works, um, I imagine it hits the amount of times equal to the other members of the family you have in your party, if that makes sense. So like for example, if you had a healed it out, and you had like two chili in your party, any attacking move you use that will hit once normally, will then like hit twice more, and each one will do half the damage. And if you had like another like boy weight in your party, it does that for three times. You know, it, it, it's like maybe kind of broken, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think their stats are very good. So I don't think it's that broken, but like, I'm not. I just play Pokemon Showdown and do Nuzlocke. What do I know? Um, anyways, um, I made Boy and Heal Dead more, um, speedy physical attackers while Chili and Bingo are more well-rounded, um, special attackers. I thought it might fit their personalities and I like giving them, like, complementary skill sets. I don't know. I thought, I don't know. Um, as for their hidden abilities, I gave Willy Prankster because, like, she's just a little guy. Come on, just a silly, a silly little guy. She was just in a silly, goofy mood, you know? Um, and for Bingo, Bingo, um, hers was a bit more difficult. Prankster was like kind of a first, I, I didn't have to think about it, I was just like Prankster, yep. Um, but for Bingo, I had to look through, um, a list of abilities and I decided to give her Early Bird as a reference to Sleepy Time because I thought that was cute. And Sleepy Time is the episode that got me into Bluey and it's an episode I feel very normal about. Um, yep. Uh, and yeah, uh, just for fun, here's their level up move sets, and uh, just just for even more fun, I th I thought it'd be cool if like they had a mega evolution that was like fairy fire or fairy water, and then they had the ability pixelate. But I I don't th I already got tired just from making these four designs. I wasn't gonna make a mega design, but y you know I I thought that would be cool. So just food for thought, food for thought. Um, and yeah, of uh, that's all. Um, yep, bluey ass Pokemon. Yep, uh, fuck, uh, goodbye. Yep, oh, like and subscribe, that's the thing people say. Like and subscribe, people. Yeah.